and it's time to get in the mix with Joe Breezy. That's right. He's kicking things off with an iconic duo. Outside of you two. Aww. Right? You know, cute, you know, cute. gotta love it. So, uh, do either of you watch Only Murders in the Building? Yes. Never okay, good. I, I'm happy for you because sometimes you're slacking on your TV shows. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, <laughs> well, that's good. Well, here's the thing. Obviously, it's been taking like pop culture by storm. It's only in the third season. Selena Gomez, Steve Martin, Martin Short. Well, here's the thing. Steve Martin and Martin Short are here tomorrow night. <gasps> awesome. Yes, tomorrow at the Grand Old Opry. So uh, them, along with a few other performers, are going to be at the Grand Old Opry, like I said. Uh, obviously, Steve and Martin are like just legends in their own right. They've been working together since like the Three Amigos and back in uh -huh. the 80s that and all great. that. So their chemistry and how fast paced their one liners are, it's just like totally unreal. It is. Um, tickets start at like 59 bucks, which is cool. You can hit up the Grand Old Opry website for info. But Stephanie, you have a little bit of history with them. Yeah, those two guys came back in oh, 2017. They okay. came at yeah. the Opry and yeah. I randomly was asked to come on stage before the show and give them, there's me and Steve Martin and a red carpet so interview. Cool. Uh, and then look, look at that. Me and Martin Short backstage at the Opry there. Uh, bring them two glasses of champagne. That is I awesome. I was like, wait, what? In okay. silence. You're not sure. mic'd up, but you just hand them the champagne. Yes. I was like, there's no speaking involved here. They're like, no, we just want you to come on stage. And they introduced me, and I was so scared. That I was is, fall. I'm so jealous. And they come and joke. Yes. You know, I was worried. Like, totally. This is a setup. They're going to make a joke out of me the rest it's of the so night. Good thing. But. I delivered champagne, did a toast, and walked off and got to hang out with them backstage. Oh my God. Jack White was there backstage. Yeah. I ended up sitting control. beside Kimberly Williams, who, of course, is in Father of the Prize. Right, yes. And so that was just really cool. I love it. Yeah. Step in the awesome. city. It's the real deal. Love it. <laughs> so jealous. Um, are you guys ready to take a magical trip? Because this weekend, check this out, it's the, uni uh, the Unicorn uh, Festival, basically. Unicorn World is happening uh, this weekend at the Nashville Fairgrounds. So, yeah, uh, a magical forest is going to magically appear at the Nashville Fairgrounds. We're talking, like, robotic unicorns, bubble houses, uh, plenty of play areas for the little ones, or maybe adults to make TikToks and right. pictures and all that. Uh, plus face painting, the whole thing, $36 per person, but kids under two are free. I just think it's neat. I just think it's a fun way to... Uh, you know, to take the, ki the kiddos out. Always fun to check out the fairgrounds and see what's cooking and all that. And please tell me when you guys were kids, and still, you guys believe in unicorns. Still, of course, obviously. Right. No, I was obsessed with unicorns. I was going to say, do you have posters and, was, and like the whole thing? And like a little crystal thing that I'd sell people. You were, I don't know if y'all yeah. remember that. I might be too old. Did you guys have unicorn names or anything like that? Or names for your unicorns? No. Was it that I serious? I recall no. that. But Did you? That... No, but I, like, I didn't know if that was a thing. Sure. Shut up. Sure, sure. <laughs> Shut up. Let's Continue to talk about boy bands. Anywho, that's all right. <laughs> that's your favorite beat. subject, Yours. my favorite subject too. Uh, NSYNC fans, listen up because we have some exciting news from Justin Timberlake himself. What? Yep. So he was on with Jimmy Fallon, you know, his bestie, a few days ago, and he revealed that NSYNC is releasing a new Christmas song this year. Pretty cool, right? But it's no ordinary Christmas song. Uh, it's called "I'll Be There," and it's about a bromance. Aww. How awesome is that, right? I love it. I think it sounds super fun. I'm going to try to get a sneak peek and bring it on the show for you guys. I've never heard of a song uh, about a bromance, so I'm a little jealous that I'm not involved. Although, here's Danielle and I uh, hanging with the Kirkpatricks here in Nashville. That's Carly <laughs> so and Chris fun. from NSYNC uh, cool. celebrating Christmas. And that Christmas album that NSYNC put out yes. back in the day is yes. still classic and still legendary. Always. So, you Keep know, this project, sick. yeah, is going to be absolutely amazing. And I know that those two are both big local yes, and two fans. You this watching. is your invite to come on. Yes. yes, that's right. Along with her son Nash and JoJo the doggo. Yeah. Bring question, the whole family. Yeah. If you're going to write a bromance song, who would it be about? Oh, gosh. You're yeah, always that's asking a us No, that's questions. a great question. Like, yeah, um, you know. It'd probably be about Neil Lorne. Neil oh, Lorne, Bob course. Mueller, the trio, the three of us dudes. <laughs> we can it. do it, you know? Do like, it. Like the three amigos. That kind uh, of thing. Good idea. <laughs> Something like that. I know. So um, switching gears a little bit, maybe some um, some kind of dicey news here for fellow Nashvillian Miley Cyrus because she's being sued by Bruno Mars's camp over her song Flowers is being accused that the song copied Bruno Mars's song If I Was Your Man. Now, um, she's saying that it had absolutely no relation to it, and she wrote that song about her breakup with Chris Hemsworth and everything. Now, but when you think of the two songs, you kind of think of them separately because hers is up-tempo, his Very is a different. ballad. Yeah, sound. Mm -hmm. But when sound you break is. down the lyrics, and I saw this like on TikTok like a few months ago, like somebody doing it and everything. Mm -hmm. So Miley's song starts off, you know, I can buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand. Bruno. In um, tune, in tune. Right, just like that. Bruno, um, <laughs> I should have bought you flowers. I should have held your hand. So there, and there's so many of those lyrics mm. that are like so close together. This is going to be tough in court, like real talk. 
So I'm gonna see what we're gonna see what happens. But like, I'll send you guys the video links of like the TikToks that break it down, or just Google the lyric comparison and sing them in your head, and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I totally get it. Interesting. I know. What are your thoughts? Uh, it's it, it's such a tough subject because artists truly are inspired by other songs. So that's where the line is. Like, hey, am I did I copy it or am I just inspired by it? Mm -hmm. Very good. We'll okay, see. Right. We'll up see in, in the court. air. Thank you, Joe. We'll yeah. see you on this other side of the break.